everybody. I'm Chris. Let's uh, let's talk about some uh, list formatting stuff. That'll be fun. All right. So we head on over to our Warrior Horses site. Get rid of all you guys. All right. Now the uh, the horses, you know, they've got all sorts of things they use in battle, right? They've got weapons and all sorts of things we've gone through before. They got battle plans. They got agents. They got everything else. But they also have tools, right? So tools can cover a variety of things. So of course they decided to put those in a SharePoint list, you know, and that's great. So they've got this tools list, and that's okay, right? Now some of these are kind of long, so in order to read them, you got to click this guy, right? It's it's this is not great, right? But I mean, this is a list formatting demo, so you know we're going to make it better. So what are we going to do? Well, we want to make this a little more readable, right? And a little more usable, maybe a little more type interactive-ish, right? Now we kind of want to create something on a page, but we don't want to pay a developer. That costs money. So luckily. Uh, we've got uh, some skills here with the list formatting. So let's take a look. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new view. And the reason we're going to do that is so we just have this list uh, kind of for editing. And we're just going to call this content. Content. And we'll just create that. And it looks exactly the same. Woo! Now, I have found that for whatever reason, if you choose to format things right now, um, it'll apply it to the uh, original view. So I'm just going to go directly to that view that we just created just to make sure. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to format this current view, and I'm going to paste something in just so we have something to start with so you don't have to watch me type it all, and then we'll start working from there. And so if we take, well, I've got it on the other screen. I'm going to paste this in, in our lovely advanced formatting box, and we'll go through it very quickly what we did. Uh, we didn't do anything, apparently. So I'll just refresh the uh, page here. So there we go. Okay, so here's what that format is doing. So all this format does so far is it places the title up here, makes it a little bigger, makes the text a little, a little higher, and then we're setting the height to 240 pixels. I'll come back to why that number is important in just a little bit here. But we just got it. It looks a little better, a little easier to read. All right, but what could we do with that to make it a little more interactive type stuff with a page? Well, that's where we can start to use an attribute we haven't really covered before. So there's an attribute uh, that you're probably familiar with uh, called ID. So all we're going to do is we're going to add that in here, right? Now let's put it right here on the main guy, right? So we're just going to put attributes and that, and then we'll set an ID. And for this, we're just going to build one. So we're going to kind of make a dynamic one. We're going to say, so in order to do that, we're going to say equals, and we'll just say uh, tools, or this is a tool, and we're going to say, and on top of that, add to the end of that at row index, right? So we're just saying, the row index uh, tells us the order in which the item was rendered. So exploding hook is zero, decoy is one, stabbing knife is two. And we're doing that because we know it'll be unique for our particular list. So there we go. We've got that. And if we preview it, nothing happens. And that's cool because uh, we haven't done anything with it. So what can we do with that? Well, let's take a look. One of the things we could do is we can add a button down here. And in this case, it's I say button. It's just going to be a link. We'll add it here right next to our title. And we'll say Elm type of A because it's a link. We're going to make an anchor here. And we're going to say, you know, our attributes for it. We're going to make this an icon. All right. So, woo -woo -woo -ah. all right. You get to help with the IntelliSense here. So, I'm just going to paste the attributes here so we don't have to type that. And I'll tell you what I did. I want to make sure I get to the other part. Okay. So, if we take a look here, let's preview that. We've got this lovely button, right? So what we're doing here is we've just set an icon. We're calling this one, it's Chrome back, which just really means a left arrow. All right, we've got some stuff that controls how it looks here with some classes. So we get a nice hover, ooh, fancy. And we put a title, which just tells us we're gonna go to the previous item, All right? And then you'll notice our href here. So that's where we want this link to go. We've started it off, we're building it again, and we're using almost the exact same thing we did from the anchor up above, right? And we're from that ID, and we're saying a hashtag, right? Or an Oglethorpe, or whatever you want to call that guy. Uh, tool underscore, and then we're going to add the row index. But instead, this time, because we want to go to the one before, we're going to minus one on that. We're going to put that in parentheses because row index is a number. If I put it in parentheses, we'll get it to auto convert to a string, which is exciting. And then the other thing we're doing here is some style stuff, including one because we happen to know we don't want to show a previous on the very first one. We're saying, hey, if you're if you're the very first one, you're zero. Yeah, don't worry about it. Now we're going to add an almost identical button here for the next. And we'll just paste that right there. 
and we'll wonder what I did. Okay. Doesn't like something. Oh, because I pasted it in the wrong spot. Let's try it right there. We'll see if we can fix that. I think we got an extra one piece. All right, we'll format this document. There we go. Looks a little better. So now if we enter valid JSON. Ah, look at that. Come on. Okay, so now we'll put a comma. Now we'll format that document. Oh, so much prettier. Preview that. Now we've got two little buttons, right? So let's save that. And what does that do for us? All right, so if I click on one of those, it kind of scrolls. It's a little weird here. So just trust me on this one. We're going to go take a look at a page and see how we can use that. So if we head back here, we're going to create a page. Go new. I'm going to go new page. And we're just going to do a blank page here. And we're going to just make this simpler. All right, we'll call this uh, so the tools. It's a great name. And we're going to just remove this guy. We don't need that guy. So now let's add our list to the page. So we're going to use the list web part. Add the list. We're going to scroll down here till we find our tools list. And then here we're going to edit this so we see this. So we're going to pick our view that we just made, which is content. And we're going to turn off the command bar. Right? And we're going to turn off the see all button. And then we're actually going to set that size to small. And that's where that 240 pixels of height comes in. All right, so now if we publish this page and we ignore all our first time publish fun stuff there, all right, we get this little miniature, little miniature navigation right here on the page, right? So now we're seeing that technically you can scroll through all these, but we've got this kind of nice setup here and we can go a little further with that, all right? So if we go back to our tools list, which we'll just do that here up top, we'll just click that in a new window. So go back to our tools list, we're going to add another view. All right, so here we go. We're going to go uh, create new view. And this time we're just going to call this uh, links. Right? And we're going to call this a gallery view. And we're going to create that. And it's going to look very exciting with the kind of default uh, established links. And we're going to edit that. So we're going to format the current view. And we've got a card designer, which is great to start with. We're going to hit edit card. And all we're going to do is we're going to take out that content. And we're going to stop showing the column name. So we just have the title sitting there in our a little little rectangles. All right, we're going to save and then we're going to hit advanced mode because by editing it and then going to advanced mode, we got Microsoft to do the hard part of generating most of this for us, right? And then we can just edit it. So by default, when you do that, uh, one of the things it does is it adds kind of a floating button above the whole thing so that anytime you click it, it's just going to open the list item. That's what's happening here with this default click. We don't want that behavior. So instead, we're going to say, get out of here guy that's doing that. <laughs> and we're going to make this a link, right? So we're going to make it an anchor. And in this case, we're going to make the href, right? Oh, let's put that in the attributes. We're going to make this guy href. And we're going to make this also very similar to what we saw before. So we're going to make the expression so that equals, equals, and we're going to say tool underscore, and we're going to say the exact same thing as before, at row index, right? Because we know the sort is the same as these. So now we've got this, we're gonna put our comma up here, give you that. And just to uh, make ourselves feel a little better, we're gonna come all the way down to this paragraph that has the title in it. And we're just gonna add a quick style. I put a text align and we're gonna just put center. So it looks just a little better, all right? There we go. That's very exciting. So now we just have this beautiful thing here. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, I forgot one other part which would be that I want to hide that selection. I don't want that happening. No, thank you. I don't need that extra selection stuff. So we're just going to true on that. And let's save that. So now we get rid of that. So now what the heck are we going to do with these, right? So we go back to our awesome tools. And we're going to edit this page again. And now we're going to edit the section. So we can add a column over here. We'll make this a uh, one third left. And we'll just drag this guy, put him over on the big side. And let's add our list again. In this case, we're going to pick tools once more. And then we're going to say our view, we want to use the links view we just created. And we're also going to hide the command bar. I'm going to hide the see all because, you know, we don't need that. Apply. And then, you know, we'll make this, uh, you know, tools. That sounds good. And we'll call this one instead of tools. We'll call this uh, details. And let's republish that. And let's take a look. What did we just do? All right. So now we've got this beautiful page. Where we can actually have some navigation. Well, I don't know what I. Oh, I broke the. I forgot the hashtag. So, one moment. 
So let's go back in here. When we built this link here, notice I forgot to put the pound sign, right? So now we put that in front. That's what makes it an anchor link. All right. Otherwise, it's trying to go to a page is what we saw. So let's save that. And let's go back here and uh, let's go back because uh, that page doesn't exist. All right. And refresh here just to make sure we've got everything. And let's take a look. So now we can go cloaking stable and go oh, boat, hammer, and so on. Right. So pretty cool. You'll notice we didn't, I mean, we wrote code, but technically we didn't write any code. We didn't deploy anything. We did all of this in the browser using the out of the box uh, formatting. Uh, to start with, right? And then we kind of just customized as we needed. You can go a lot, a lot crazier with this, right? So the idea is you could start to build an application with this or a nice little display piece, right? If you wanted to add some things here with like hover cards or, you know, additional details over here, you could even add an additional view with a list of like categories that filters both of these. And again, you're not really doing anything outside of creating those nice IDs that link everything together with anchors. So there are a couple of gotchas with this. And let's take a look at the uh, PowerPoint to review and take a look at those gadgets. There we go. So when you're using that ID attribute, there will be times it gets flagged because it's not necessarily part of the schema just yet. Uh, don't worry about it. It does work, as we saw, uh, but it adds an ID to an element which can be used for a lot of different things. In this case, we're using it for anchor links. But note, because it happens client side, so when you format your list, whether it's in the web part or on the page, all that format is applied client side linking outside of the page directly to these items does not currently work uh, but you can use that for those kind of internal links so if you've got a long list and you want to hop between list items you can certainly do that right instead of the row index you could use the title of the list item you could use the list item id whatever you'd want there and you can build those dynamically uh, to create these kind of really cool interactive pieces um, you could use that with some of the other uh, dynamic web parts that exist whether that's your custom ones or using things like the embed or the list properties to show some additional details um, and then navigate using these IDs uh, can create a pretty cool application altogether without having to deploy any kind of SPFX or anything else. All right, so uh, check that out. Uh, this sample is called the Content Browser um, and will be available hopefully by the end of this call. All right, and that's uh, what I got for you. Thanks. Thank you, Chris. Like always, great demo. Thank you so much. Thank you.